Hi guys, it's Holly here. So today we're going to recreate this look that you see on me using the heat palette. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started because I'm already in a rush. Hi guys, so uh, I'm here with my I Already Prime and my tape on. So let's go ahead and get started with the look. So I'm using the heat palette again just because I wanted to do another look with it but this time I wanted more um, grungy so as usual we're going to start with Sauced that is this color right here and it will be our transition color and it will go all over the crease and as usual we're starting to define and create the shape of our eye so today is the 27th of august I don't know why i was saying july but and tonight i'm going out to dinner and I'm going to my favorite vegan place um, just because tomorrow is my birthday so we're going to you know celebrate waiting midnight and so this one that I am creating is the look that I'm going to wear tonight so as usual I have here my foundation which is the NYX Stay Matte but not flat because as I said last time in the heat palette there is no a kind of a brown color so to help my blending I'm using my, um, my foundation just because it's really you know light and I can use it to you know blend even better the color that I am laying down but feel free to use another palette if you want or the color ounce which is the lightest in the palette but it has a little bit of shimmer in it but if you like it feel free to use that so I went ahead and started to add a cayenne into the crease and the outer corner and we are starting to define even more in darkening the crease and the cat eye shape so as you can see I am pointing my brush down when I'm blending just because in this way the brush is going to do the work for you Feel free to add color, more color, in order to reach the intensity that you want on the eye. So the next color that I am adding is En Fuego, which is this color right here. And we are intensifying even more the outer corner so this color is going to go in the outer part of our eye and crease we're not going all the way in but we are keeping the color concentrate in the outer corner and we are blending it really well of course as usual feel free to go back with the lighter colors if you think that the colors are a little bit patchy or you have problem um, with the blending process so once you're happy i'm going to add and fuego and a little bit of ashes that will be our last color even because it's the you know dusk darkest color in the palette so with this one 
we're going to stay in the outer corner too. We're not going too much in. We are concentrating it right here and we are blending. So once you're happy with the blending, we can go on and pick Heat Devil, that will be my lid color. And we're gonna use a flat brush and pack the color on the lid. This color, I think it's um, my favorite in the palette. I absolutely love it. It's so rich and pigmented and beautiful. I love it so much. And it gives a really um, grungy vibe to the look, I think. Um, once we've packed the color, we use a little fluffy brush with the same color and we blend it with the other colors. Just so we don't have, you know, this color in the lid. So I went ahead and highlighted my face and I set it with my foundation. Now we are going to move to the lower lash line and to start I'm going to put my Nabla um, Magic Pencil, no, Velvet Line Pencil. Um, the color black. The name is Bombay Black, the precise name. So we're going to put it into the waterline and below. And then we're going to smudge it. So I pick up this brush and we're going to smudge the black liner. And then we go ahead and add cayenne and start to smoke the lower lash line, connecting it with the, you know, the guideline that we have on the upper part of our eye. So. So, once we've done with Cayenne, we had En Fuego, which is the darker color. And we are adding the same color that we used before. So, En Fuego in the outer part of our eye. And then, to finish up, we use Ashes, but even this one is going to be just in the outer part. So once we have finished with the lower lash line, we can go on and start with the face. I'm going to start with my highlighter today. We are going to use three highlighter just because one it's never enough and we're going to start with my mini Becca Hopal and we're going to apply with my giant brush same spot so on my cheeks on my forehead and then my nose my cupid's bow you know so, once we've done with Opal, we go ahead and add um, Champagne Pop. I don't know if you remember, but I can't show you because I broke my Jacqueline and Becca palette. So, Champagne Pop, it's 
a mess. I saved it, but it's a mess, so I can't show you. I'm sorry for the light, but the setup is even worse than the usual, so. So the last one is this one by Too Faced. It's called Blinded by the Light. And I'm blinded right now. I don't know about you. I don't think because of this light, but I'm blinded. So, so for contouring, my favorite combo, Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and Nabla Shading Glow in the color Camel. So, I went ahead and contour, just because you see me do this a million times and because, of course, I'm late. So, for blush, I'm going to apply a mix of the two that are in the Jacqueline and Becca palette. They're called Rose and Pompanous. So, I'm going to mix them both and put it on my cheeks. So, I don't know if I told you, but I'm in a rush, so I go ahead and finish the face. I put my inner corner highlight using the three highlighters that I used before, and then I put my beauty marks, as usual, and then I put my lashes. So, for lips, I'm going to use this one today. This is um, Checkmate by um, Jack the Star and I love this color so much and you will see why. So this is the look complete with the lips. I went ahead and applied Jack the Star Checkmate and in the outer corner I add a little bit of Outlaw by Kat Von D. So this is the final result. I went ahead and get dressed because I'm late. So I hope you like it and see you in my next one. Bye.